Hey, how you doing guys? So this is Dr. Saw at Specific Chiropractic. In this video, we're gonna talk about two cases. So number one is GERD and heartburn. Yeah, acid right? reflux and... Yeah, acid reflux, yeah. okay. And number two is gonna be sinus headaches. So let's start things off. Let's talk, uh, explain to the viewers, what's been going on with your acid reflux? So acid reflux lasts for one year. Mm -hmm. And I took many medicine, but I, my body is not healed from the acid reflux and the heartburn. I watched your video last week mm -hmm. uh, from on your channel. So I decided I have to come here and uh, I'm here. Okay, so, hey, that's great. So just to recapture, so he's been experiencing acid reflux heartburn for the past one year, mm -hmm. take a lot of meds, and it's also so severe that uh, during consultation, you mentioned that you actually lost weight. Yeah. I so agree. you were 150 and now you're 140. 140, yeah. Yeah, all the course of a year. Yeah. Uh, anything else to add for the acid reflux? And that's it. Okay. Yeah. And the other is the sinus headaches. Yeah, sinus headaches. What's going on with the sinus headaches? Same with the, from the last one year. For the so past one year? Yeah, okay. I, I, I went to the hospital, I went urgent care four or five times. They just gave me the over one week uh, antibiotic course. I did that, and uh, after the medicine, the same problem. I think. Okay. So where do you usually feel the sinus headaches? Uh, from here, mm -hmm. like and like here, like sometime over here. Okay. So this region over here and this region yeah. over here. So uh, when I eat food, so I think it's struck over here. And I, I continuously I, I feel pain from my left side. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Okay, so let's break it all down, okay? So over here, right? So the fact that you said you feel something stuck over here, yeah. well, here's the thing. There are two gates, okay? One over here, one over here, okay? okay? Now, whenever this is like wide open, mm -hmm. okay? Then the acid, that's supposed to break down the food will go up the throat and that's how we get acid reflux, yeah. heartburn, GERD, okay? If the bottom one's open, then that's how we also, that's how we get the megan blast and also a lot of gas comes up, gets trapped in here, okay? Mm -hmm. So, now, whenever we have an issue on this middle part over here or the spine and the nerves, the nerves in that region, the mid back from here, Right? It'll transfer over here. Uh -huh. And that's responsible for keeping both of these gates uh -huh. closed on you. So if this is not functioning properly, these gates cannot close properly either. Uh, okay. So yeah, I am definitely want to investigate what's going on with this area of the nerves over there that causes a potential mm -hmm. problem. Okay. And anything else that may disrupt your digestion system, yeah. I also want to investigate, take a closer look as well. So usually it's these areas, so as there's a lower part of your spine over here, mm -hmm. those are small intestines. The lower part over here is gonna deal with the large intestines. Mm -hmm. So I wanna investigate all that areas, take a look, see what's going on. Next part in terms of sinus headaches, okay? Now, in that regard, mm -hmm. I wanna make sure that all the nerves in the mid part and the lower part of your neck are functioning properly, okay? So if there's a potential problem at this level, level right over here mm -hmm. that deals with the mucosal membranes okay. over here because all the sinus cavities, they all have mucous membranes and its purpose is to break down any, <clears throat> any foreign material, mm -hmm. right? Such as like pollen or dust, viruses, bacteria, mm -hmm. yeah. all that stuff that gets trapped in the sinuses and if we can't blow it out properly, Due to misalignment of the sinus cavities, mm -hmm. the stuff's gonna start building up. So to clarify, okay, sinus is supposed to be like, like this, nice and smooth, so that when the air blows, okay, mm -hmm. no problem. But if your sinus is misaligned, like this, okay, when the air blows, yeah. debris and all that stuff gets trapped. Right at the ledge. So over here, this is where your body starts releasing more mucus and more, you know, more uh, white blood cells to try to break down and remove all that stuff out. Mm -hmm. Eventually, it builds up into pus. Okay, and then you still have more, even more buildup, so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. Okay, so therefore, when you're saying that's whole, wow, 
I got a lot of like, uh, you know, you know, sinus headaches over here yeah. and here. So I want to take a close look. What's going on, on your right side of the face? Why isn't your right, your right side of the face aligned properly with your left side of the face? Going over your history, to reiterate, you're saying, wow, I've got this acid reflux. And when I eat food, it gets stuck and trapped right here. Yeah. It doesn't go into my belly and my stomach. Yeah. So it sounds like, you know, it's pretty much that gate gets stuck right there. Not enough nerve function to it, okay? So we want to take a look, see what's going on over here. But also when I see on this, you have a lot of arthritis going on over here. Mm -hmm. You should be nice and rectangle shape, but no. You got all these little osteophytes. Mm -hmm. You could come on out. What's causing all that stuff? Well, when I take a look on this side over here, well, you have quite a bit of some arthritis over here and also some arthritis over here as well, but more so on this left hand side. Mm -hmm. So biomechanically speaking, What's going on is that when your spine itself starts rotating a bit, okay, and it's going like a little bit this direction, okay, okay then what happens is when your spine's rotating like this way and this way and going that way, well, we can't walk this way. Uh -huh. Our head has to be, no matter what, it has to be centered and leveled over here. So how do we get there? Our body got to start twisting mm -hmm. and compensate to try to get to this point. Mm -hmm. So because your body is being rotated and twisting, over here is counter rotisting so much. That's why we see more arthritic changes over here. Mm -hmm. And since this problem has not been resolved for a very long time, that's why we start to see some arthritis start to happen on the mm -hmm. right side. So whenever I see degenerative arthritic changes on the left side, most likely there's external rotation or something going on with this right pelvis. Mm -hmm. So I do want to investigate, take a closer look, see what's going on over here. But we also got another little interesting little change up here too as well. The second separate segment, I see it's very swollen over here. Mm -hmm. So then it comes to like the chicken and egg, okay? So we got to find out which one we need to address first. Mm -hmm. Do we need to roll out that right head or this second sacral segment? Okay. Mm -hmm. Which one might be the part that you're you know, the culprit? Mm -hmm. Another component I'm seeing as well that's also that may influence and impact the pelvis itself is this fourth lumbar disc over here. Right? Mm -hmm. Now this is a little bit squished over here. It tells me there's some kind of physical mm -hmm. trauma to it. But because it's wedged open a little more than this, in addition to I do see a little bubble shaped over here. Okay. That tells me, no, this disc is swollen and subacute. We gotta take a look, closer look on that one, see what that potential problem is. In addition to this nerve also serves function to the large intestines. Mm -hmm. So that plays all that factor to your digestive system. When we come up to here, the real level, dorsal over here, mm -hmm. okay. Now, see this over here? These ribs are not symmetrical. This is symmetrical, but this one, kind of normal, but see this one? There's a lot more taller space. Yeah. On the right hand side to the left. It tells me this 11th dorsal over here, it also tilted this direction like this. Yeah. So, I'm not surprised, the right side of the nerve over here, going to the small intestines, it may impact that nerve function. Mm -hmm. So, it may have some digestive issue to that yeah. as well. So, even though you eat the food and try to digest as much as possible, or absorbing the nutrient mm -hmm. may be a challenge or difficulty for you. So, it may also possibly explain why you're having trouble absorbing and maintaining your weight because you already lost 10 pounds from yeah. this ordeal alone. So then we go over here as well, okay. So now we got some more fun, okay. So now we got this over here, it's open wedge on this side and tall on this side. So that tells me now, okay, so we got some nerve dysfunction going to the left hand side. Mm -hmm. So that's more fun. And keep on going higher up, we've got a little, some moderate size slip on the second door, so take a look. But when I take a look over here, this fits cervical. Okay. This is going backwards quite a bit. Okay. Right? And if we take a look at the front picture, see this over here? It's not like this. See this over here? This is look more like a decent, more closer to almost normal this height. Mm -hmm. See this a little swollen, but you see how tall this is? Yeah. It's very tall and it's wedged and gap over like this way. So I'm gonna take a look at what's going on with that fit cervical over there. In addition to, because this atlas anterior on the left, and with that left fit cervical, the, P, the, the PLS, this will help take a lot of rotation out of this atlas over here 
to help alleviate and help improve the drainage going down your neck itself mm -hmm. because we have two major drainages, the left side and the right side mm -hmm. for the neck. So if the atlas itself is rotated so much, it can compress and have a hard time for this left side rotate so much this way, it may pinch off the right side, it may have some issues draining from that right mm -hmm. sinus cavities. Right? So that's one possible explanation. But when I take a look at your AP film over here, yeah, this deviated septum is going tilted over the left. But also when we take a look at your maxillary sinuses, okay, this should be a nice darker shadow. But see this? Yeah. I'm seeing there's so much whiteness in here. Yeah. That tells me no. Both of these maxillary sinuses are all filled up with pus. Okay, there's a lot of buildup in there. Same thing in, even inside here, your nasal sinus cavity, no, that's all filled up as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're gonna prefer one year, see what's going on, take it from there. Now I'm gonna further investigate and perform our examination with starting off with visualization and inspection. Alright? And I start up a patient when we see things right off the bat. Okay, there's a lot of swelling over here, right? And a lot of swelling down here, and even here as well, and here. So now we start to a palpation. See, there's a lot of swelling right here. I'm gonna mark that level right there. So you got this pitting demon, it just sinks right there. This guy kind of See, it just sinks right there. Oh, see, this is puffy right there. On that right sick uh, joint over there. See, it's some swelling here, but not a whole lot. Scanning your spine. Sorry. So we're starting off with instrumentation. We're scanning for any potential. Informations. We've got one at this level. It's gonna help us isolate and determine what are the potential issues do we have here. And what's a closer look? Feel this one over here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's not moving at all. How's this fellow here? A little pain there, right? How's this fellow over here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right there. Yeah. Fuck lumbar. Yeah. Yeah, that's not great either. All right. And the swellings, everything is isolated right on the left hand side on that PLS side over there. And as you see, I know it. So, left anteriority of that was because this is mostly a PI misalignment and everything's rotated into the left, right, left, right, left, right on the lumbars. We're going to do a, a very nice, precise isolation like that. Now, now is the sound of beauty right there. I feel like 
uh, there is nothing pain over here and like very smooth I feel nice nice yeah that's great we're getting those large intestines working yeah. again let's see if your small intestines needs a little tune up as well and yes indeed let's go ahead let's get the stomach working again oh uh, nothing pain over here yeah. no more left chest pain no yeah, that's great anything else Okay. How's your how's your stomach and everything else? Yeah, everything is good. Uh, before I was uh, feeling heaviness over here, mm -hmm. but now it's like smoothly light. It's gone, I think so. Nice. Yes. What a time for this fella. Bring it back home like that. How's the sinuses? It's like. 100, if I compare 100, like 20% left home pain only just, that's a 20%. Little. So now, let's take a look. You yep, see left deviated septum right here. So he does not move on whatsoever. We're going to set this real deep. Good. See even nasal bone. See it's not moving toward like this direction. A little more. See both of your maxillary sinuses are not moving. Same thing with your frontals. Okay, so left one. A little more. There it is. Right one. No more. There you know. Wow, this left one is still jammed. Awesome. Pump it up a little. There it is. Good. Both frontals are stuck. There it is. That's a big clunker. No, Sphino is actually fine. Okay, come on up. Alright, do me a favor, go ahead. Blow your <laughs> turn around now. Go ahead, blow your nose out. <laughs> it's good. I can breathe from this side. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Oh you're welcome. How's the sinus pressure and the sinus headaches? How's that right now? That's good. No more, I think so. <coughs> yeah. No more pressure, huh? No. No more. So how are you loving it? Thank you so much, Josh. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you. Okay, go ahead, enjoy, right? And then we'll see you next time. Take care. Oh, you're welcome. Thank Have a good one.